It's Christmas week in the pre-K special needs class. Many of these kids are nonverbal. We are practicing the Christmas show they will perform for their parents. The students are learning to shake the jingle bells they wear on Velcro bracelets as they point up at imaginary candy canes in the imaginary Christmas tree. They mimic shaking the tree trunk. Each candy cane drops to the ground and they sign how the candy canes all fall down. That's what we're doing when we get the call on the day before winter break. It's a lockdown. We stop everything and silently herd the children into a corner away from the window and door. An aide pulls the curtains aside. Another aide deadbolts the trailer classroom door. That's just a gesture. It's not much protection against an active shooter in military hardware. We're supposed to remain quiet now. One student sucks his fingers and coos. Another begins squealing and making happy noises. Although most of these students are nonverbal, it's not easy to be silent and sit in the corner at this age. And they're still too young to be taught the fear that the older students learn from this exercise. As educators, we've all been instructed to make sure nobody says a word. We are all supposed to sit there, shut up, and do nothing.